So is Brandon Ayuk actually going to get traded by the San Francisco 49ers? And if so, what does this mean for the fantasy football fallout uh, for the 49ers offense? This is a fantasy sports boss. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already. Live stream coming tomorrow, first one of the season. So make sure you're there for that. I'm going to post that probably in the next couple of hours in terms of the time. Uh, so make sure you join us for that. Now, as far as Brandon Ayuk, that was the biggest news in fantasy football this past week. All right, training camps are getting set to open. Actually, some of them are already open with rookies reporting. Um... Uh, so things are going to really start ramping up. But Ayuk wants to trade. Like, he wants out. He wants a new contract. And again, we've seen this many, many times over. So uh, the word holdout has not been used. Um, you know, we've we've discussed that ad nauseum. The, 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 the fear of the Le'Veon Bell situation happening again, to me, is minimal. I just don't see guys um, willingly sitting out and, and losing money and not getting anything, in, you know, in the end. Melvin Gordon tried that as well. It didn't work uh, with the Chargers. Uh, but the, But... The, the dynamic here is what if Ayuk does get traded, right? And he's a wide receiver one talent. There's no question, as is Debo Samuel. But the two of them in the same offense, they, they offset each other, right? They alternate big weeks. Um, you know, they, they, they make each other high-end wide receiver twos, all right? That in, in, a, in a standard league, maybe they're low-end wide receiver ones. But in a PPR league, they're high-end wide receiver twos because they don't have the raw high-tech uh, catch totals. You know that the Justin Jeffersons have, that the C.D. Lambs have. You know the, the Amon Ross St. Browns, A.G. Browns. They don't. They don't have those kind of catch totals. Um, but if IU gets traded, the big repercussion there is he's probably going to be the wide receiver one wherever he goes. So then IU becomes a low end wide receiver one, and Debo Samuel will be a low end one as well. And this also will boost George Kittle and Ricky Pearsall. Um, who's battling some injuries right now, but he would be a person of interest as well. He's going to move up the, the uh, ADP rankings quickly uh, because he's going to benefit and take over the, uh, the other starting wide receiver spot in place of IU. And, of course, Christian McCaffrey out of the backfield is going to catch a ton of passes. Now, um, again, I don't think this is going to happen. The 49ers have dealt with cap issues the last couple of years. They have generally paid their players. They paid Debo. They paid um, uh, George Kittle. They're going to have to pay Brock Purdy soon. They're going to have to pay, uh, pay Brandon Ayuk, make a decision there. Um, but I think everything's going to work itself out there eventually. In terms of Ayuk playing, I don't think he's going to sit out. Now, I don't know about the contract being worked out. Let me just state that. But I do think that Ayuk is going to be on the field. He knows he's got to pad his numbers to get paid. Um, so I don't think, even if you're drafting now, I don't think you want to fade Ayuk just based on this. So um, I still would stay the course there in terms of drafting him this season. All right, guys, hit that subscribe button. More videos coming soon.